Within the realm of shadow lies the darkest of terrors, which should never be set free. Death comes, and the end of everything is just the beginning. Arthas. Arthas. Is this all that remains of him? Only darkness before me. Now, cast him into the maw. Return him to the darkness he served. His eternal suffering awaits. My student. Remember what he did and take your vengeance. Not vengeance, justice. But no king rules forever. To wield so much power. That power will 
will be your prison. This world is a prison. Along with every soul burned to ash in your precious tree. <laughs> Where is she? <laughs> Go on. Kill me. You'll send me right to my lady. 
Beyond the veil, she shattered. <laughs> oh, Tyrande! High priestess, night warrior, completely powerless to stop the coming. <laughs> I would pay any price to see the Banshee impaled upon my glaive. I too want Sylvanas to answer for her crimes. But Lorthamar is right. Anduin wouldn't want us to risk the well-being of the Alliance for his sake. The Kaldori need you if they are to have any hope of finding peace, High Priestess. You dare speak to me of peace? After the atrocities your kind inflicted? Enough! The war is over! We can ill afford to start another! A far more pressing threat is at hand, and we must prepare to face it. The path opens. Your courage will be remembered, champion. Aldiel Shalar. Find those who were taken and bring them home. Rescue the others. The Banshee is mine to kill. Tyrande, don't do this. Tor Ilisar Theranol! We cannot lose you to the darkness. Succeed. Such a narrow vision. You disappoint me. No matter. We will find what we seek in another. Anduin! How badly are you hurt? I will live. I'm relieved you're all safe. These bonds are too strong to break by force. We must find a way to free him.
They've stopped their advance. The light is with me, even here. Go, champion! Go! Every attendant in Oribos is taught that the Maw is unbreachable. That the malevolent souls within were sealed away for all eternity. This mortal's escape might mean the prison is weakening. If true, the banished one could... Cardelen! Karsher! Purpose be praised! At long last! The Arbiter has stirred! For uncounted eons, the Shadowlands was in perfect order. Infinite afterlives, with Oribos, the Eternal City, as the Shining Heart. Every mortal soul came before the Arbiter, and she, ever wise, experienced all that had shaped a soul in life. With this knowledge, she consigned every soul to the afterlife it justly deserved. Until... That dread moment, our perfect order was shattered. And so it is that every soul, kind and cruel alike, is denied its rightful afterlife, and instead is damned to the inescapable torment of the Maw. Outsiders, what have you done, mortal? Be at ease. I am Bolvar Fordrag. These knights and I are here to help. The touch of the Maw is upon their souls as well. But if they found a way to break free of its influence, perhaps they can end us. Welcome to Bastion. 
You led a truly selfless life. And for that, you have been chosen. Chosen? To shed your mortal burdens and join the ranks of the Ascended, serving to ferry the souls of the dead unto the Shadowlands. I serve the Light, and my work is not done. There is an evil that must be... There is no evil here. The darkness was sealed within the Maw long ago. You're wrong. He destroyed my home, murdered my people and my king. He must be punished. You are an aspirant now. You must accept your new purpose and purge yourself of this desire for vengeance. What I desire is justice. Devos, why are you training this soul? It is beneath your station as a paragon. He cannot let go. He continues to demand retribution for his death. And this concerns you? Many souls take eons to ascend. Yes, but this one seems broken, Thenios. Unlike any soul I have seen, I have begun to wonder whether he was deemed worthy of Bastion. By mistake. Be careful, Devos. I would not let the Archon hear such a thought. In time, he will forget. Trust our ways. Trust the path. Devos, how long must we train? Until you are ready to ascend. And what is keeping me from ascension? Nothing but the memory of your mortal life. How can I forget when I can still feel his blade? Your soul is wounded? Who did this to you? He was my student. He betrayed us all. Show me. On his blade were unmistakable. This dark agent runs free on a mortal world with the power of the Maw itself in hand. Our realm is imperiled. Impossible. The Maw is inescapable. You must return to the path. If he had purged his life, we never would have known of this calamity. The path is flawed. Enough! The Order of the Shadowlands depends on the execution of our eternal charge. You will abandon this course. As you command, my Archon. Uther! The time of your ascension has come. I thought I was not ready. Do you wish to see him punished? I do. Then prepare yourself. The moment he falls. This is dire news for Siphony. But the Archon has turned a deaf ear to such tidings in the past. The circumstances have changed. Tell me of these forsworn. Most have merely lost faith and may yet be redeemed. But some have fallen so far as to wield the power of the Maw itself. It is true. This mortal has fought against Ascended who are in service of the Jailer. 
Lysonia is not the only one. We do not know when or where the Forsworn will strike next, but strike they will. What you speak of is unthinkable, but we must remain vigilant nonetheless. Paragons, return to your temples. Adrestes, monitor the wards. It appears you have a part to play in all of this, mortal. Let us see what comes of it. Go in service. The ward has been sabotaged, as we agreed. Good. Our allies are eager to strike. The Kyrian temples will fall, and the Archon's reign shall be ended. To win this battle, Necromancer, our courage never falters. It will take more than courage to save you now. My Paragon, you do not stand alone! Ah, just the vessel I require. Lockon! For Bastion! Now serve me by destroying our enemies. Yes, master. In life, I was Draka of the Frostwolf clan. A warrior who gave everything to protect what mattered most. But I was not done fighting. Maldraxxus, where the armies of the Five Houses once stood side by side to protect the realm of death. It was here I served the House of Eyes. A strange fit for a warrior's soul. Again. Their ways were not mine. Faster! Again! Eventually, this life after life began to feel right. in ruins. One-fifth of Maldraxxus wiped out. It's hard to believe they could be so careless. Perhaps they weren't. No matter what happens now, Maldraxxus must stay true to its purpose. For if we fail in our duty, the Shadowlands will fall. I believe the House of the Chosen still stands with us, and I trust you to deliver this to Margrave Crexus. Now, go. And Draka, be watchful. My brothers, I am on urgent business. My lord! Hurry! There could be 
survivors! So, these are the traitors you spoke of. I would not let such Urgura prevent me from delivering my lord's final message. Ordeals such as this either break the sword or strengthen it. I offer the key to saving Maldraxxus. I am sorry, Margrave. He gave me no key. An unyielding warrior with the skills of a master spy. A key to many things. Come, our enemies will strike openly soon. We must prepare. I am Draga, once of the Frost Wolf clan. Now, Baroness of the House of the Chosen. And most of all, a protector of Maldraxxus. A victor emerges! The winner of their battles! Which house do they fight for? Look close, God. We have a living mortal in our midst. Intriguing. Cinder, is this the men who fought in our attack? The very one. So, this mortal witnessed your treachery. Your house is invaded, Bastion. An act that betrays everything the Primus stood for. The Primus is long gone, Crixus. Where is your hunger for glory? Why has the House of the Chosen lost its appetite? We are meant to defend the Shadowlands, not conquered. You will recall your forces. Or you will answer to my will. I think not, Crexus. Your blade shall be broken. Slay them all! Chosen! Now we lure Morbitan to his doom. Master, our preparations are complete. We await your arrival. Finally, the power our new Baron Thomas shall now... No! The ritual, it is ruined! Methodi! Confident fool! It is you who are the fool, Morbitan. And your folly has brought your demise. Wretched spy! Curse you! And your fallen house! This must be your missing Baron. Who is there? Must warn the Margrave. I know that voice. Can it be? The Baron is... my father? Durian... after all this time... I will take us to a small alcove near the Waystone that enabled your previous exodus. Son... Save your strength, father. We will have time to speak later. Wait. My sword... Fatebringer... I will have need of it soon.
Slay the mortal! Bring me that rune blade! Raise your sword, champion! Form out Raxus! The foes of the worthy shall be vanquished! I shall protect these souls through their winter. I shall see them reborn in their spring. No matter what trial I face, I swear it, my queen. I swear it. Rest well. Season after season of this drought. Here. Here. It's so little. I know. Everything from this grove. Everything. No! This is my grove! You will not destroy them! Aralon! 
We are not your enemy. Anyone who threatens my grove is my enemy. I swore an oath. My queen. I kept faith all this time that you would save us. And now you send scavengers to my grove? Why? your grove so that others might live will you sacrifice one soul for the forest entire or will you keep your oath your heart is pure I will honor your choice One last time, you serve the wilds. You will not be forgotten. Forgive me, friend. I will hunt for you, my queen. For Ardenweald. And for the souls we can yet save. I swear it. Sister, why have you brought it to me? This one is slipping away. Our duty is grim. Many have been lost. Why would I save her pet? Those who have dreamed by its side awaken with a joy and peace that whispers of wonder. If she dies, then all that is emerald dies with her. Some must be sacrificed, but some must be saved. If we forget that, all that will remain will be empty shells and sorrow.
Your path leads onward, mortal. Know that you have gained an ally in me and in Arden Wheel. To the good people of Revendreth. It is with optimism that I address you today. Though these are challenging times. Firstly, I assure you that our holy mission to help the most violent and wicked souls atone for their sins is and always will be our utmost priority. Our rituals are effective. Our judgment keen, but fair. We, Venthyr, remain committed to bringing eventual redemption to all who desire it. It is through your faithful work that even the most evil and prideful beings may ultimately be spared an eternity in the Maw. Unfortunately, of late, the flow of such hubris-ridden souls has virtually ceased. And as a result, Anima, our most precious resource, is in dwindling supply. Even we, the faithful who extract the Anima, have not been spared the effects of this mysterious drought. Oh, yes, we still have our old reliables. Our workhorses. Yet I fear they will not be enough. We are doing everything in our power to gather more anima. But, simply put, we must all, rich and poor alike, make sacrifices for the greater good. Therefore, I have decided to implement a strategy of conservation and rationing which should keep the anima flowing to those most in need. In this manner, we will keep our people strong and our land healthy, despite the efforts of those who would use this crisis to further their own ends and rebel against the rightful structures of our society. Rest assured, we shall bring these miscreants to justice. With fairness and mercy, of course. I am, after all, nothing if not compassionate. My loyal subject, we are doing all that can be done to stimulate Animar production and fulfill Revendreth's honorable purpose. Remain devout and resolute, and know that I will lead us all into a brighter future. My children, I know the suffering you have endured. I fear further sacrifices must be made if Revendreth is to survive this crisis. Begging my master's pardon, I humbly present the Maw Walker. That's it. I'm dead. Ah, the mortal who escaped the inescapable prison. A living soul restoring hope to the realms eternal. Maw Walker, I am aware of your urgent request for Anima. Under normal circumstances, I would of course oblige. Sadly, you arrive in the midst of a violent rebellion. Our resources are stretched perilously thin. This drought has left my people desperate starving, and some 
even defiant. But if you were to aid our cause, then I could gratefully provide the aid you seek. As I explained before, sire, we cannot rush such a delicate process. Anima harvesting demands finesse. Our friend grows impatient. Recent events require us to expedite our efforts. See it done, Inerva. But master... <laughs> <laughs> well, what have we here? You really must be more vigilant about uninvited guests, my lady. Sire? My defiant accuser and her hapless mortal pawn. It is impressive that you discovered our little secret, if a tad inconvenient. You deprive your own people of Anima, and inflict a drought upon all of the Shadowlands. Why? The other realms would squander our most precious resource. That won't do. Rest assured, this Anima will serve a higher purpose. But I fear you will not survive to witness the glory to come. I will deal with them, sire. Harshly. Of course you will. Your valiant last stand. For so very long, you've punished arrogant souls. But instead of learning from their suffering, you've become one of them. You just needed to obey. How fortunate you are. To witness the splendor of what is about to unfold. Every precious drop of anima, so painstakingly wrung from the tortured souls of lesser beings, now paves the path for the banished one to reclaim what was his. And once his liberation is secured, it shall be by his will that all is washed away. The only power that will emerge from this torrent of change is death. Death and those who shaped its victory. Someone will stop you, Tenathrius. Even if I... Do not speak. Observe. Nothing will stop.
stop the Jailer from breaking free. Denathrius is surely gathering his forces inside Castle Nathria. Unchecked, his loyalists will soon overwhelm us. We must rally the Harvesters at Sinfall while this mortal returns to Oribos. They must be told what transpired here. I shall escort the Marwalker, my prince. Come, mortal. As the Arbiter's voice, I heed the call of the Eternal Ones. How may I serve? The Moor Groves, surging with power. How did this come to pass? The evil we believed forever bound has conspired to distract and divide us. The Primus realized the truth, but his warning came too late. I fear he paid a grave price for this knowledge. You speak for Revendreth. Where is your sire? Where is our brother, Denathrius? My sire has betrayed us all. The drought was his doing. He stole the very lifeblood of our realms, starving his own people. And yours as well. When his lies were exposed, Denathrius unleashed his vast coffers of anima into the maw to fuel the might of his true master. Long ago, we stood as one to imprison that monster. With the Primus gone, and Anathrius a traitor, our pantheon has been broken, and doom comes for the Shadowlands. There is yet hope. This mortal saved me from the Maw, and revealed the Sire's treachery. They aided my forest as well. Their kind has shown great potential. If focused, it could turn the tide in our favor. Agreed. For the good of the Shadowlands, each mortal must choose a covenant. And when our realms have regained their strength, we will stand together against the darkness. I will see it done, Eternal Ones. With her voice have I spoken. Come, mortal. The hour of decision is at hand. Look at you, pathetic. A puppet dancing on strings. I will not break. I will not break. I will not fool. Your mind is already broken. But even a broken thing can be made to serve. Secrets extracted, insidious designs forged into weapons for my armies. What I require. I do hope you've settled in. The accommodations are a bit... sparse, I know. Where are the others? Are they safe? Safe? No. I wouldn't say any of them are... safe. I am so tired of your games. As you wish. 
No more secrets. No more lies. You are a weapon we will use to achieve our ends. I will not become an instrument of death. So you favor life. Is that it? That momentary flicker. Every cruel second spent delaying the inevitable in an endless war that you, like every Rin before you, will not survive. You know the truth. Nothing is fair. Not life, not death. So we're going to tear it all down. And what purpose would that serve? Everyone suffers, Sylvanas. But destroying everything will not take away the pain. Oh, you misunderstand. We're breaking a system that has always been flawed and remaking it into one that is just. <laughs> Do you expect me to believe that all this time you've been fighting for justice? How can I convince you? From our first breath to our last, every decision is made for us. Then, the afterlife decides what eternity we must endure. We can't even choose who we... We couldn't control anything. But through the Jailer, control of our fate will at last be possible. Look around you! At what and who you've joined! What makes you believe you're not just a weapon to achieve his ends? You have a choice to consider. Join us willingly, or be made to serve. I thought you believed in free will, Sylvanas. We've never had free will, little lion. But that is about to change. place of torment. Champion, I, for I saw you escape before we were recaptured. Do you have the means to take us out of the Maw? All that matters is we now possess the necessary instrument. We must begin its preparation. Leave him to me. You've seen what he is capable of when he believes in the cause. A measure of patience may yield superior results. Very well. We have our weapon. Now, we shall hold it. At last, the torment is over. I've had enough of this place. Let's go. I have seen only the darkest reaches of the Shadowlands. It is good to know there are places of hope as well. May the spirits of my ancestors be safe, in realms of comfort and peace. I am glad of your return, brother. It is a relief to have you back, Thrall. I will send word to Agra and the Regent Lord at once. 
I feared the worst. Bane and I both know the horrors that the Jailer inflicted. The things I saw in that place. The torments I endured. Are best not relived. At least, not now. Thrall, do you know where they've taken Anduin? My captors spoke of a valuable prisoner, held deep within the Jailer's Tower. It has to be Anduin. High Lord, you have peered into Torghast and guided the Maw Walker through its torments. I beg you to look deeper, to find the king you once safeguarded as a boy. What you ask poses a terrible risk to all of us. Impossible! I am eternal! This is not the end, Master! Let me preserve you! Zopal shall restore you, Master! We will have vengeance! You were ever fond of saying that the Venthyr do not destroy. We educate. It is time you were reminded of Revendreth's noble purpose. Shall we begin? You cannot bind me here. I am eternal. I am your master. Remember this lesson. A weapon forged in the fires of Torghast. A morn blade is born. Uh, a morn blade? Oh no. Anduin still captive there. Has something happened to him, father? I fear for Anduin as well. But is it safe for the High Lord to peer inside? The toll it takes on him. There is a price to be paid for communing with that darkness again. But I must see. We all must know. Sire Denatrius has been taken prisoner. What is our plan to recover him? Every soul has its purpose. Genathrius has fulfilled his. We must forge our next weapon. He's not ready. Then a more direct approach is necessary. We have not come this far. You know, these endless lectures of yours have failed to convince you. Regardless, the conversation is over. One way or another, we will have you. So I will offer this one last time. Join our cause, or be made to serve. What kind of choice is that? Why even give me? It's the choice you never had. Despite all your grand designs, there's still some shred of your mortality haunting you. As if the Banshee Queen hasn't entirely eclipsed the Ranger General. Don't. Now I understand why you brought me here. Why you've tried so hard to persuade me. Because if you can get me to let go of hope, you finally can too. Enough! Submit! You are only making this harder on yourself. Not harder on me. Right now, you hold all the power. How will you use it? I've not come this far to falter now. Then why 
Do you hesitate? Make your choice. Sylvanas Windrunner. My father and I ruled the finest kingdom in all the world. Until it was decimated by Arthas Minifil and the Lich Kelvazard. I sought to restore the glory of my people. In hindsight, the bargains I struck may have been, uh, regrettable. Not only are you a mentor to those around you, but also a stalwart defender of Bastion. Now, you join the ranks of the Ascended. Rituals, Archon. No more lies. Rise, my forsworn. Devos, you lead this rebellion? The Archon's blind edicts place us all in peril. We will forge a new path for Bastion. The Spires of Ascension will belong to the forsworn. Ascended, repel this assault. Paragons, with me. Devos must be stopped. The Archon has spoken! Defend the Hold! I will honor our accord. Garmor will fall by our combined might. We shall see soon enough. Mograine's kin have proved worthy allies, and know our foe well. We will strike the eastern flank, and they the west. Then we shall converge on Garmal as one. Ah! Incompetent fools! Defend your house! Defend your Margrave! We have them! of Maldraxxus. Through deceit and treachery, Kalthuzad has turned our great houses against one another. He conspires with outside forces and defies the will of the Primus. Today, he will answer for his crimes. Forces will be overrun. Necrolords, hold your ground. We will not fail, Maldraxxus. Hail, Baroness. Revendreth stands with you. Interlopers, you will not escape your fate! We are not the ones you need to fear, Kel'Thuzad. Your cause is lost, you serper. Now you answer for your crimes against Maldraxxus. And against me. Foolish Margrave, your victory is a hollow one. The medallion is ours. Let us return to Revendreth. What? We cannot simply leave. Not while Kilthazard yet lives. I will have vengeance for Silvermoon. His fate is not yours to decide.
Come, Lich. The Banished One calls you to his side. Station is at an end, monster. Wait! I sense something hidden from sight. <gasps> Aralon! A trust trick to distract us from their true target. Do you know where their leader has gone? Awakening. She seeks awakening. Stop her, Aralon. I swear it. For Queen and Grove. For Queen and Grove. <sighs> Wild Hunt! We ride for the Grove of Awakening! We're so sorry, Aralon. Night embrace you. <sighs> You'll be boring us, Mozala. Time for you to go back to the other side. But don't you worry, though. You got yourself a new master. Your old friend, Buan Samdi. It be me who names Silvana's war chief. But Muazala and the jailer, they be pulling the strings all along. Then how about we get a little payback, hmm? Rescue that ancient spirit from the maw, and bring it nice and safe to the Winter Queen. One someday, there be no escaping the maw, yeah? If I be going in. You heard, old Mozala. Your soul still be having threads tying it to Azeroth. Just like our friend here. So hold tight to them treads, and don't be fully manifesting your spirit in that dark place. Else your soul might be going... Poof! Didn't it be time I set things right? No way I be letting Mozala get the last laugh. Thirsty. You want a drink? How about a zombie? <laughs> I see dead people. Yes, yeah, kind of my thing, you know. Despite all our efforts, the Maw continues to grow. What if Denathrius' treachery is irreparable? The Primus is lost, and Bastion cannot save the Shadowlands alone. None of this should have happened. Perhaps the Winter Queen could... My Archon, a living soul, seeks an audience. A mortal? A king. By all our measures, one who has spent his life striving for justice. One who would give anything to serve his people. One whose heart is true. Very well. He may approach. Step forward. My Ascended have spoken of you. The King held captive in the mall. That prison could not hold me forever. Why have you come to Bastion? You have a key that I need. You will release this soul from your grasp. No. He is bound to me, just as you once sought to buy. Oh,
vessel performed its part flawlessly. Three keys remain. Then they will see. Death was never meant to be changed. In the Arbiter's name, we answer the call of the Eternal Ones. This brazen attack on Bastion must be answered. Has your wound healed, Grestia? No. But that is of little consequence compared to what was stolen. What was the Jailer after? Long ago, each of the Eternal Ones was given a symbol of our Covenant's purpose. Yet Zoval saw these sigils as keys to forbidden knowledge. When we rebuked his heresy, he tried to claim them by force. But in the end, the Primus led us to victory. And for his treachery, Zoval was exiled forevermore. Yet even bound to the Maw, he found allies to aid his cause. No doubt Sire Denathrius willingly offered his sigil to the Banished One. We have found no such sigil within the Sanctum of the Primus. The essence of the Arbiter remains here. It must be protected. The Ebon Blade will help defend the Eternal City. But this will not be the Jailer's only target. No. Even now, his malevolence encroaches upon my groves. The Necrolords will drive these invaders from Ardenweald. The Venthyr will fight beside your army, Straka. We will rally the Covenant's forces and make our stand. Let it be so. With her voice have I spoken. So the Winter Queen sends her loyal subjects to die in her place. You know nothing of loyalty, Banshee. It is you who knows nothing, Fae. You cannot stop what is to come. So, Azeroth's hero has come to play. You will fail yet again. You were loyal once. You should know better than to interfere with me. Hold on, I've got you! To the skies! Strike at the heart! been looking for me. Come then, show me Elune's wrath. Elune gave me her strength. The wrath is mine alone! I expected more. I will take your head, Banshee! Just like I took his! Nathanos, you didn't know. Your master is keeping secrets from you! It 
is time in Quanelema. Once again, she denies you victory. Mother Moon, do not forsake me! End this! Bask in the dying embers of your goddess's bargain, Tyrande. Nothing lasts. Tyrande, can you hear me? Tyrande? Fall gently into dreamless slumber. We should report to the Queen. I pray she was able to safeguard the wild seeds. Zaval dared to threaten the souls in my charge. I have made reply. I concealed my sigil within the heart of the forest, where it could be best protected. But our enemies are cunning. Go, ensure that it remains safe. I fear we may be too late. Anduin! No! Resist him! Do not let the Jailer win! We will save you, Anduin. No matter what it takes. Assistance, mortal! How many? How many spies has the banished one seated among us? You can ask him yourself once we arrive in Torghast. He is quite eager to meet you. Kill the Mawwalker! Oh, and make it quick, as a sign of gratitude. Serving the Jailer? But they were part of the Burning Legion. At least that's what we were led to believe. The Dreadlords are masters of infiltration and illusion. Our Covenant forces must remain vigilant. Stay alert, Maw Walker. They could be... anywhere. Girlfriend, you have no idea. Not a word.
Jedi retreats to its master's side. Your part in this is done, Moloch. Come. My sigil to Zoval's lair? Forgive me, Master. We were only. <laughs> he is coming. Prepare yourselves. We make our stand now. Resist you to my last, Zobal! Should you strike me down, my sigil will be lost to you forever. No. There is another way. A Morn Blade! the jailer of his underling. Underling? Helia is no one's underling. I will not be silenced. I will not be imprisoned. My wrath shall haunt your... Reveal yourself. Malganis! The Harvester of Wrath. How I have missed your purity of conviction. A pity it will now be lost forever. Nathrazi, bring me her fangs. Malganis, we need not be enemies. Join us to save Revendreth and end we your exile. We were never in exile, you gullible fool. It was all part of the Master's plan. <laughs> While you remained fixated on a paltry medallion, we seized the true prize, Remornia, with the Sire's essence held within it. Our mission never changed. For eons, we have done the Master's bidding in secret across countless realities. The Legion, the Scourge, Argus, all pawns in a game beyond your grasp. One that now nears its end. about him. It's not my fault he can't take a joke. Did you truly believe you were my only means of escape, mortal? I offered you an opportunity, one that you blithely refused. You will pay the price for crossing me. But first, 
There are more important matters that demand my attention. So enjoy this brief reprieve. It is the last you will ever know. What does your master seek, Dreadlord? Answer me! There has been a terrible misunderstanding! Oh, more of your wretched kind! I will slay you all myself! Arden Weald? Why are you in Revendreth? <clears throat> we seek night warriors who passed beyond the Vale. Explain. I will aid you, but be warned. Elune's wrath is not easily quelled. You have our gratitude, Stonerite. Tyrande is in dire need of aid. Please accept this welcome gift from the Court of Night. No need to trouble yourself. Oh, silly me. Here, this one is much better. This will suffice. Let us proceed. <clears throat> Please, come this way. I remember this power. A double-edged sword. Seldom have I seen a mortal wield such rage. Chandras, maintain your hold on her! Mindo, please! You must calm yourself! Tiranda, do not lose yourself to anger! I don't think she's listening! The Night Warrior's fury will annihilate us! Contain it! Ma Walker, aid me! No! She is absorbing even more of Elune's power! That is really not good! The Force Tyrande wields threatens to consume her! And will leave this grove devastated! My queen, we need your help! My sister's power in my forest. I will have answers. How dare you come here, sister, after our cries for aid went unheard, unanswered. I heard your cries, felt your pain, and in the wake of tragedy, sent forth the cascade of souls to sustain you. Oh. The great tree. All who perished there were claimed by the moor. Then I have condemned my favorite children. By our hand, we may yet guide their souls onto their spring. Starting with this one. Tyrande invoked me. She must choose. Vengeance or renewal.
is it you? I am myself again. What I have seen this day, I can scarcely believe. I was present for every moment, and yet outside myself, as much a witness as you were. So much beauty in her voice, and sorrow as well. The tear was mine as much as hers. The Winter Queen spoke of a purpose for the souls of our people. What did she mean? That Elune did not tell me, daughter. Not yet. Through drought and loss, Ardenweald suffered. But together we have saved our home from a terrible darkness. With perseverance and kinship, hope is restored to our groves. And our hearts as well. Today, the forest's heart is made whole. The cycle is renewed. Death and life in harmony once more. A new sigil arises to embody our covenant's future. For all you have done, mortal, you have my thanks. Be warned, Uther. We have never attempted anything of this nature before. I will endure whatever I must to be whole again. I... I cannot! The shard! It is too much! He is being overwhelmed! We must help him! Friends, aid me! Uther, hold strong! Allow your memories to flow through you! Five paragons are needed for our covenant sigil to be reforged. Upon this day, we shall name a new paragon of loyalty. My archon, loyalty bereft of compassion fractured the very heart of the Kyrian. Perhaps what we need is not loyalty, but devotion to our cause, to each other. And to the souls we usher into the Shadowlands. When Devos turned against us, I met her with spear in hand. There was truth in her words, but I did not listen. Let us learn from Uther's example. Henceforth, all Kyrian shall be offered a choice to keep their memories or to let them go. Adrestes, I anoint you, Paragon of Devotion. And Clea, you shall serve as his hand. Me? Forgive me, my Archon, but I... Your devotion to our sacred charge has never faltered. None are more deserving of this honor than you. Thank you, my Archon. We go in service. Many ages have passed since a paragon was last anointed. Longer still, since we have christened a new temple. Today, we do both. Adrestes, step forward. Through trying times, you have embodied patience and compassion. Virtues that will serve you well 
as Paragon of Devotion. Five temples, five paragons. Take your place among us, Adrestes, as we reforge our covenant sigil. A symbol of our new path forward. One born of unity between Kyrian and Forsworn alike. What fate befell Arthas in the end? At the moment of his death, Devos and I claimed his soul and cast it into the moor. Without the Arbiter's knowledge? So he might yet have had a chance at redemption? I will never know. It was not my choice to make. Devo slid me down a dark path. Now that I have seen the Maw for myself, I cannot say that any soul deserves such torment. Perhaps some can never be forgiven, but you have shown me that they must be treated with compassion. Restia was ever the most unwavering of us all. The Archon's willingness to embrace a new path demonstrates her devotion to the Kyrian. I have called upon the Covenants to bear their sigils here to Corthia. The key to our victory lies within them. And in you, Ma Walker. Efforts are futile. Ouroboros is within my grasp. No! We will stop you! Jaina, we need a portal. The Jaina must not take the Eternal City! Your rage is exquisite, Hillstream. It alone could power our soul forges for eons! Release me, worm, and I will show you true rage! They said I must answer for my crimes. Repent for my sins. But every choice I made, I would proudly make again. You will submit. I submit to no one! Not you, not the Jailer, and not that coward throw! For the Horde! The Jailer is going to destroy the Arbiter! Quickly, champions! Stop Sylvanas! Death bends to my will! The Arbiter's defenses are weakening. Stop the Jailer while we still can! He's done it. The Arbiter falls. I 
I will never serve. is almost upon us. I will deal with the invading forces atop Torghast. When we reach Oribus, you will defend Zoval while he completes the ritual. You mean he will compel me to defend him? Each time he dominates my will, I feel myself slipping further away. Is this what you found? When Arthas raised you, Sylvanas. Hollow. Empty. Everything you once were. Consumed by darkness. Yes, young lion. But in the end, the sacrifices we've made will have been worth it. Once the cycle of life and death has been broken and remade, we will... By that time, I'll have been lost. And so will you. I only hope my friends will remember me as I was. Not what you made me to be. By the light! Jaina Proudmore, is that you? Uther? Uther! A Kyrian! <laughs> of course, it, it suits you. I barely recognized you, my lady. The last time we spoke was at... Stratholm. After the calling. I remember. You still think of him too, don't you? Even after all these years. I've tried to put the past behind me. Now, with what's been done to Anduin, all those painful memories have flooded back again. Memories are like mirrors. They show us parts of ourselves, sometimes parts we'd like to forget. But you can choose what lessons to carry forward and what to leave behind. I loved him, you know. As did I. Take that love with you, Jaina. Let it lend you strength in dark times. Thank you, Uther. Can you stay a while and talk? There's so much I'd like to share. It seems some of the memories trouble you. Yes. I spoke of Garrosh, son of Gromash Hillscream. I'd hoped to spare him from the darkness his father knew. But instead... I fear I'm to blame for the ruin he unleashed. Fate sets a course before each of us. How are you to blame for the destiny he wrought? I took him from Nagrand. I made him war chief. But when he needed me most, I left him to falter. And in the end, it was my hand that struck him down. Your father used to say that a wolf decides whether to come when called or to turn on its master. There is no fault, only nature taking its course. Garrosh shows his path, my son. But I set him upon it. You offered him a choice. You did not choose for him. Mourn if you must, but his decisions are not your burden to bear. His path ended. Yours moves onward. Onward. 
Yes. There is much to be done. Thank you, Mother. So, Tyrion Fordring took up the Ashbringer in my absence. I can think of few more worthy. Indeed. He met the Lich King in battle and shattered Frostmourne itself. And yet you sought to raise him into undeath. Why deny him the rest he had earned? I once told Tyrion that only a silver hand can wield an ebon blade. We needed a fourth horseman, one to lead the others. He seemed the right choice. It appears fate chose differently. This is not the legacy I meant to leave you, Darien. You taught me to defend that which I hold dear. I am proud to carry on such a legacy. And I am proud of you, my son. Sylvanus's soul has been fractured from the moment of her death until now. Burn it! This was their home. And you slaughtered all of them! How could you take all those innocent lives? This was beyond life and death. There was no other path to true freedom. How can you not see that? I see what you are. Murderer! Monster! Butcher! Why can I not escape this torment? The Jailer has severed their bond and condemned her to endlessly relive her atrocities. So long as her soul remains divided, she cannot wake. Maybe she shouldn't. She's the only one who knows the Jailer's plan and how we might save Anduin. She's the one that turned Anduin. Jaina is right. How can we possibly trust her? Her wound runs so much deeper than mine. Well met, Ranger General. What is this? Who are you? Someone who shared your fate, felled by the blade of the very same prince. Arthas. Oh, I died trying to stop that monster, only to wake up haunted by one with my face. That Banshee is you. No, I cannot accept that. Her path began where yours ended, and you've seen the decisions she made. Never in a thousand lifetimes would I betray everything I stood for. You can't possibly understand. The Jailer is deceptively cunning. When I realized I had become his pawn, it nearly destroyed me. He had no doubts it would destroy you as well. Was he right? Or will you accept her shattered legacy and tell us how to stop him? Her crimes are unforgivable. Yes. And she... Burn it! I must face the consequences. We cannot change the past. And we may never find forgiveness in the future. But inaction damns us all. Time is short, Ranger General. 
Make your choice. I've done all I can. With the Maul Walker's aid, the covenants have been renewed. Yet one sigil is still required to pursue Zoval. The Arbiters. Though her presence is lost to darkness, her voice still sings within us. Blessed be her voice. Together, we shall manifest the final sigil. This is our purpose. The way is open. Not hold. This place is of no consequence. The sepulcher will soon be within reach. Moss one, come. If I truly replaced you, would anyone notice? Champion, it seems you could use some assistance. Ah, Lady Proudmoore. A pity you did not come sooner, but I have stalled long enough for Zoval's champion. Farewell. The champion Malganus was speaking of must be Anduin. After he struck down the Arbiter, the Jailer was able to dominate us in an instant. If Anduin is alone, then we may have a chance. Find a way to follow them. Dana, are you alright? Anduin's blade. I sense something familiar. A 
presence within it. There's no time to ponder it now. We have to tell Bolvar what's happened. Tell the others what you told me. You all have witnessed the Jailer's power firsthand. Without the means to resist his domination, we have no chance against him. Anduin may be the key, if we can save him from- You dare speak of freeing him after all you have done! Sylvanas held the Mornblade that bound him. Her presence may help free Anduin from the Jailer's grasp. I will never trust her. Then trust in me. Always, Uther. Very well. We will prepare to enter the Sepulchre and save Anduin. Together. Forged by valor. And also by honor. Its legacy and ours are with you, even here. of the Jailer. No crown, no throne, not even a soul left for judgment. I hated you, hunted you. And with each selfish act, became you. That is my burden to bear. But your legacy is at an end. Be gone then, Arthas Menethil. May the last whisper of your name fade and be forgotten. I don't remember the exact moment I rested control. I do remember the rush of freedom. The clarity of purpose. When I loosed my arrow, I sought to become his judge and his executioner. I thought that if I could punish him for his crimes, I would be absolved of mine. Forgiven for the atrocities he forced me to commit against my own people. But there would be no justice that day for anyone. That is yet 
to come. of those who defied domination. That which sought to bind us will be made anew. Behold, the crown of wills. service to the Shadowlands. I offer my soul. What? No! I have yet to ascend, Clea. Perhaps there was a reason for it. But your soul! You do not have to do this. I know. This is my choice, sister. My purpose. I do not want to let you go. Our souls are bound as one. We will never be apart. A new voice freely offer. A worthy soul, pure and unburdened. Adrestes, I am sorry I could not become an acolyte. Somehow, I think he will understand. Mawwalker! My friend, without you, I may never have found my path. Now I can direct the flow of souls to the afterlives they justly deserve. Yet one goal remains before us. To truly restore balance to the Shadowlands, the Jailer must be defeated. I have faith that the Maw Walker and their allies will succeed. Go in service, friends. Oribos and all the Shadowlands are counting on you. Can your mortal minds fathom how long I have waited? Every event set in motion, every pawn put into play, all to claim the power slumbering within your world. The soul of Azeroth, wounded, vulnerable, yet teeming with potential. Potential that 
Betrayed your duty as Arbiter and shall be bound forevermore. Your madness has threatened the cycle of life and death entirely. You could have sought another way, brother. Imagine what we could have accomplished together. Why, Zova? What drove you to this end? You preserve that which is doomed. A cosmos divided will not survive. What is to The flow of souls into the Maw has ended. The Covenants and the Shadowlands have been restored. Only one task remains. Sylvanas Windrunner, the time for your judgment is at hand. There can be no true justice without compassion. And I can see your deeds bear the mark of the Jailer's influence. An influence we failed to contain. The Jailer did not control me. My actions were mine alone. And I accept their consequences. Then, you know in your heart to whom you must answer. I submit to the judgment of Tyrande Whisperwind. Entrusting justice to your most fervent adversary. Are there any gathered here who object to this fate? So be it. What? What game do you play now, Banshee? The Sylvanas I hunted would never submit to the blade of her enemy. Death would be a merciful end, Tyrande. And I do not expect your mercy. Your newfound remorse might be genuine, but it can never erase all you have done. There will be no peace for you, Windrunner, until there is peace for the souls of your victims. The prisoner is in my charge now. Bring her! True justice brings both punishment and renewal. I trust in Tyrande to achieve both. And now, after so long, there is much we need to say to one another. I know, sisters. But judgment comes. Below lies the Maw. An unjust fate to which you doomed so many. And it will be there that your penance begins. Every soul lost in its depths, betrayed or condemned, you shall find and send forth to the Arbiter to be judged with the compassion all souls deserve. You will toil there under Dorotha's watchful eye, scouring every darkened reach until the final soul is free, and you are all that remains. 
This is how you shall bring renewal to your victims. And my people. However long it takes, it shall be done. Undo Falador, old friend. Watch her well. Banshee's penance will save countless lost souls. A fate that would not have come to pass had I slain her in Ardenweald. Perhaps that is why Mother Moon stayed my hand. I thank you for your aid. Soon I must return to Azeroth to begin healing the Kaldori and preserving our future. For so long there had been little more than hatred and malice in our sister's eyes. To at last see a glimmer of the Sylvanas we knew. I had ceased hoping for such a thing. I am pleased we had a chance to speak with her, Varisa. I only wish we'd had more time. As do I. But if she stays true to her word and sees this obligation through, perhaps one day we will. It will never be like it was before. The pain she inflicted upon the Kaldori, upon the world. How could she ever answer for it? I'm not certain she can. But if her penance brings any measure of peace to those she wronged, at least it is a start. You are right, Lady Sun. Our family has endured so much darkness. We must find a way to cling to hope. Yes, little moon. Mother. Father. Lerith. They are only memories. We thought our sister was as well. But now... We shall see. Well met, King Greymane. Regent Lord. I hope the fate of Sylvanas Windrunner brings the Alliance some measure of peace. Peace? You stand in the Shadowlands, Regent Lord. Ask the dead she sent here whether they feel peace. As for me, that's something I will never know. Not while the monster who killed my son still endures. I understand. My people are haunted by the deeds of monsters as well. And what of you? Are you hoping that the Ranger General you served comes back from the Maw, or would you prefer having your War Chief again? I spent most of my life alongside the Windrunner family. Sylvanas was my hero, and my friend. But the Banshee who nearly led the Horde to ruin was neither. Then you shouldn't have followed her commands. Good day, Regent Lord. Good day. King Greymane. I can't tell you how relieved I am to see you safe, my king. Even after reading Jaina's reports, I can scarcely imagine the horrors you endured. There were times I thought I would never escape the Jailer's control. The things he made me do. Those actions were not your fault. You cannot blame yourself. I... I should have been stronger. And when Rin... You are the strongest man I know. And when you return to Stormwind, the whole kingdom will tell you the same. I can't go back, Ken. Not yet. But the people need... Turalyon will keep the Alliance safe in my absence. And I know you watch over everyone we care about. Old Wolf. Of course. Take whatever time you need. And when you're ready, please, come home. Those we lost await us here, among these countless afterlives. Is there anyone you would seek out, Bane, for one last conversation before you return to the land of the living? 
No need to spare my feelings, Lothamar. You are asking if I wish to find my father. The truth is, I do not need to. His spirit is always with me, wherever I go, whatever I do. Guiding me just as his ancestors guided him. And what of you? Is there someone you would visit, given this chance? Prince Kael'thas. Long have I held the title of Regent Lord, all the while wondering if I was truly suited to lead my people. I would ask the last liege of Silvermoon if he regrets the choices he made. A chance to mend old wounds, and perhaps feel that the torch has truly been passed. A feeling I understand all too well. I pray your conversation brings you the peace you seek, my friend. A mortal life is so incredibly brief. I questioned whether any actions taken within that span of time could truly be worthy of eternal torment. I confess that as an aspirant, I did not think of such things, only of duty. It was not until I witnessed Uther's plight that I recognized the injustice of the Maw. Never again will a mortal soul be sent to its depths. All deserve a chance at redemption. Recent events have shown us that a single mortal soul, in fact, every mortal soul, can alter the course of eternity. Indeed for good or for ill. In the end, it was mortals and their decisions that shaped the fate of the Shadowlands. As Arbiter, I will take that lesson to heart. Every soul will be treated with compassion and will be given a voice in which afterlife awaits them. Why are you here, Anduin? Your kingdom and your friends are awaiting your return. My friends? The ones I almost killed? They believe my hands are clean. But they don't feel clean. It is perilous to confuse what you are made to do with what you choose to do. How can I not, when it all blurs together? It was so horrific and exhilarating. And it sickens me to think that satisfaction may have been mine. Ah, so that's why you've come. You fear you might not be who you thought you were. I'm starting to wonder if I ever knew. For the first time in my life, I'm afraid that if I call on the light, it won't answer. If I have no trust in myself, how can I expect my kingdom to trust me? To put their faith in me when mine has faltered? Must you bear that weight? A king does not have a choice. No choice? I thought you believed in free will. <laughs> I need time to think about many things. And one. I have faced who I was and accepted what I've done. Now, the work begins. Yes. It does. Farewell, Sylvanas Windrunner. Until our paths cross again. Farewell, Little Lion. Tyrande Whisperwind. You came to my realm in pursuit of justice. 
Did you find it? I came here seeking vengeance. But within these groves, and by the light of Elun, I found something I feared lost. Hope. And thanks to that choice, a sister's bond, once broken, has been mended. This tear was born of sorrow. Now it shall become a vessel of renewal. These souls were saved from the darkness of the moon. Unto them I have offered eternal tranquility in the bowels of Ardenweald. They have chosen instead to become part of a new beginning for their kin. Bodies, the cycle of death and life. I offer it to you, Tyrande Whisperwind. May it bring your people happiness and peace. On behalf of all the Kaldori, I thank you. Undo, Falador. Ysera, my beloved friend, could it truly be so? Yes. I sense this seed is touched by the dream as well as by Ardenweald, a symbol of the crucial balance between life and death. Then it must be kept safe until it can take root. I know of a place it can be protected, but it has been so long. Bring the seed to my daughter. Marithra will know where it should be taken. Are you not returning to Azeroth with us? Surely the Winter Queen will allow you to- When the Queen used her own essence to revive me from the Wild Seed, it bound my soul to this realm. I cannot leave it. Not without great sacrifice. Then tell us the price, and it shall be paid. No, my friends. The Kaldori need you beside them once more. If Elune wills it, I shall soar through Azeroth's skies again. One day. Who are... Oh, my apologies. I did not recognize you at first. I hope that the Old Wolf has sent you to help. I believe doing so could benefit the Alliance just as much as the Horde. I will join the meeting, but we must ensure that the outskirts of Brill are secure. Behold, as my creation eradicates the Blight! You may applaud at any time. No! My beautiful construct! <laughs> Dash it all! How can we hope to succeed now? And that's where we stand. Sylvanas is gone, and our homeland remains overrun with toxic blight. I will attend this gathering. After all, someone needs to make sure Kalia gets a chance to speak up for herself. What are we going to do about the plague in the Undercity? Don't you mean what are we going to do about her? We should focus on the Blight. Farinel, do we have any more of your Plague Eaters? This is my last one! And it's a puny thing. I can make more, but to be effective, 
They must be formulated to survive the plague! If I may, our allies in the Shadowlands might be able to provide insight. In particular, the Plague Lords of Maldraxxus. Master Apothecary, what do you need to make your creation stronger? Nothing less than a pure, undiluted sample of that plague from deep within its reaches. Very well. I will help acquire that sample for you. Stay close, and be wary. I can't hold back the effects of the Blight for long, and we don't know what threats are lurking out there. This should be far enough. Hurry! Get the sample! That's it! We need to get back! My shield is starting to fail! Keep fighting! We're almost there! She... did it... and survived. I hope you're right about their expertise, Lady Menethil. This could give us a fighting chance to restore the city. Farinel, we'll need to bring your last Plague Eater with us too. Do be careful with it. Should these Plague Lords bolster its resilience, the Apothecaries can replicate it many times over. The Forsaken were raised through necromancy, and this shared origin has provided them a sense of unity. I, however, was raised by the Light. That difference has caused me to wonder if I can ever truly find a place among them. Necromancy is the art of animating unliving flesh. Here in Maltraxis, we use the magic of death to accomplish our craft. But whether these rituals are empowered by death, or light, or any other magic, necromancy is necromancy. You perceive a difference where there is none, child. Then perhaps I have found my purpose. Thank you, Margrave. Your perspective has been a great help. We have replicated and loaded my improved Plague Eaters! We are ready to deploy! Master Apothecary, you should know that the Blight Sample we took to Maldraxxus took form and became aggressive. Really? Uh, I suppose that should make it easier to kill! Ingenious! Wish I'd thought of that. Meet us down in the courtyard now that the ruins are clearing. No more Banshee Queen. The Forsaken have many different points of view, and we should be led by a council, not a single ruler. My fellow Dark Rangers and I are with you. Are we really going to trust a Menethil on the council? I cannot escape the shadows of my past, but I have no desire for a throne. My place is here among you, and I vow to serve all our people. I take you at your words, Lady Menethil. And we, the Apothecaries, will help shape our brighter future. For Lordaeron. Then it's settled. We are the Desolate Council. We are the Forsaken. In time, we found a place here within the ruins of Lordaeron. But after it was blighted in the war, we feared we had lost this home too. Today, we not only reclaimed our legacy, we began a new path forward. And for aiding our cause, we owe you a great debt. Many of the Kaldori raised during the battle for Darkshore wish to remain here with the Dark Rangers. But any who choose to depart and rejoin the Alliance are free to do so. Hadiel Shala. Farewell. Within this hall, we shared ceremonies, celebrations, and tragedy. I loved my family, and on one fateful day, I lost them all. Now I am all that remains of the once proud Menethil line. 
the last heir to a legacy that ended in shame. So you ran away from the pain? I did too. But it was only when I stopped running that I understood. Those people out there, they're my family now. But will they ever truly accept me, bearing a name forever stained by a brother's sins? Just as these flagstones are stained by my father's blood. We are all the same here, Kalia. Seeking our place, despite everything we've lost. But it's a long road, and we will need your help. Then, let us find our place, together. As Forsaken. Hello, Jaina. Khadgar, it's good to see you again. When we last parted, I regret that... Those were perilous times. The Legion's attack, then the war. I think we both needed to find our own way through. I have no hard feelings. Only friendship. I feel the same. But surely you didn't come all the way to the Shadowlands just to find me. No. For years I've read about this place in Medivh's books. I stood atop Karazhan and caught glimpses through the veil. I suppose I wanted to gaze upon the realms of death with mine own eyes before. Is everything all right, Khadgar? I feel the weight of years upon me, Jaina. The burdens carried, the choices made. <laughs> Forgive the musings of an old man. I think I'll look round and see these shadowlands a bit. See what wonders I can find. I've heard tales of conniving brokers, a city of secrets, and a land of ancient knowledge. How intriguing. Sounds like you'll be keeping busy. Just don't leave without saying goodbye. I've missed you, old friend. Count on it, Gina. Be seeing you. Father, I've been thinking about when we last spoke, and I wanted you to know I will never agree with your choice to hide the truth that you were still alive. But I understand why you did it. And that you didn't mean to hurt me. I believed I would be trapped in that ice forever. Holding the scourge at bay. I thought that was the only path left for me. I dared not hope for anything more. When the helm was broken and I was free. I... I was afraid. Bolvar Fordragon? Champion of the Alliance? Afraid? Of what? Of you. That the daughter I loved with all my heart would find me and see only a monster. No, I see you for the hero you are and the father you can yet be, if you're willing. Waste this chance, Talia. I promise you. Without the Helm of Domination to control them, the Scourge roams leaderless. Nothing remains to temper their aggression. Indeed. The mightiest among them already vie for supremacy. Like vicious warlords in the wake of their king's death. We cannot allow any of them to seize command and unite their forces. The Ebon Blade must remain vigilant. And so we shall. Though Azeroth may never truly be rid of the Scourge, we will keep them in check. You have my word. 
Ice Crown Citadel remains a seat of dark power. We must not let it fall into enemy hands. Perhaps I should return to... No, Bolvar. Let the Frozen Throne sit vacant. The Knights of the Ebon Blade will safeguard the Citadel in your stead. Talia needs her father. Darien. Thank you. Strange, is it not? We both lived lives of service, and even after facing death itself, we still feel compelled to serve others. Sometimes, the greatest act of service is to be present for those who need us. Until we meet again, High Lord. The world has been sundered. It cries out in pain. We must go to its aid. We entrust our ancestral home to you, the Watchers. Slumber, hidden, even from our own eyes. You will feel our return in the waking of the land. Then you must light the beacon of tear hold, lest the path home be lost to us forever.
The world is healing. But her fate is yet uncertain. Together, we shall be Azeroth's protectors once again. Here, the new age of dragons shall begin. You can have anything you desire.